Hi, I'm Callie with PowerStudies.com and this is the current Q&A. This month's question in the current Q&A is, what are some major changes to the NFPA 70E 2015 edition that we need to be aware of? And here to answer that question for us is Robert Fuhr, professional engineer and president of PowerStudies.com. Welcome, Bob. Thank you, Callie. Uh, every three years, NFPA 70E is revised, and this time around, there are some minor revisions and also some very major revisions. Uh, one revision that you might think might be a minor uh, change, and that is the change of the term hazardous category. It is now being called arc flash PPE category. Sounds like a very major or minor change, but it really affects a lot of things. For one, there are many, many articles that have been published and written that have that term. Many sales brochures have been published using that term. Also, there are millions of labels that have been installed out in the field that have this term on it as well. So it sounds like a minor change, but it really ends up being a very major change. The second thing I think is uh, that is a very big change, and that is the elimination of category zero from the task tables. Task tables are 130.7C, 15A, B, which is for AC, and then it is B for DC. And they've eliminated this hazard risk category, or arc flash PPE category. Wow, does that mean that we can't wear cotton around the electrical equipment anymore? Well, it depends. It depends what it is you're doing, what task you're doing. There's now a new task table, 130.7C15 capital A dot little a. And that comes before these task tables. And these task tables, uh, this table lists various tasks that you might do on electrical equipment and tells you whether or not you should be wearing arc flash PPE. For instance, the first one is reading a panel meter while operating a meter switch. It's a pretty low risk task. It says right here in the column, no, you don't need to wear your arc flash PEPE. So that's pretty good. Uh, there's a second section here is normal operation of circuit breakers, switch or contactors or starters. And I get this question a lot in our classes. Do I need to be wearing PPE when I'm operating this equipment? Well, it depends. And that is if the equipment is installed properly, if it's been maintained, if the doors are closed and latched, and then finally, uh, are the covers on place and secured? And the answer is no, if all those are true. But if any of one of these things is not true, um, then you have to wear arc flash PPE. And you then go to the task tables, determine what task it is that you're going to do, and then from that task, you look up to see what level of arc flash PPE you have to wear. All right. Well, thanks for breaking that down for us, Bob. Stay tuned for next month's current Q&A.